Hello everybody, this is Dylan. This is Mike. And we're here to review Equalizer 2. That's right. Equalizer is pretty much a Denzel Washington, as I would call him like a super agent. And he basically helps the, the little guy, the guy who has the small problems but in big danger. And he does it for free. Yep. And uh, yeah, he finds himself in another situation to help. I guess I, I don't want to spoil too much because I think the, the story itself is what makes these movies more entertaining than, than the action. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I have found it to be quite, uh, not really a Jason Bourne feel to it. Either. No. Uh, similar to a, like a Hitman feel, but like you said, helping out the little guy. Like I just felt like uh, he was really like listening to people's stories and really wanting to help them a little bit more. Oh, I agree 100%. Uh, that's what makes this movie, I think, different than the other ones. It's like It has those slow drama moments where you see, you really hear the problems of these people. You don't just see him just hear a little backstory and then all of a sudden he kills 20 people and that's the end of it. Like That's why I really like uh, Denzel Washington's character because he has real emotion. He, he really cares. And he's emotionally involved with each of the exactly. characters that he's interacting with. Especially that ending. Oh god, I even had a little bit of a tear run down my face. I, I had a tear on my face too. I was fighting it. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm a man and men aren't supposed to cry. But at the end there, you're just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? When it comes to the all around story, it's good. It's a good story. You know, Denzel Washington's character with the, even the bad guys. You know, I, I like, I think they all did a great job. Yeah. Uh, nothing is more cooler than Denzel Washington kicking butt in this movie. Like, he, he literally slices and dices like it's nothing. And, yeah, that's true. And he gets vengeance, and you, you, you're you cheering. I, I was just like, yeah, yeah, hurt more, more. And it didn't have that feel where, like, the camera was really pivoting around too much. It was, like, trying to stay focused it was in an area. Uh, area. Yeah. It was stationary yeah. the whole time. So you always got to see the action, except their quick cuts. Yeah. But still, awesome. Awesome movie. The, the fight uh, choreographs were great. Even the ending during that thunderstorm, oh, that was, that made me, I, the only thing that would have made it better is if somehow they can get fans going in there and you feel like the breeze. Other than that, it, it was awesome. Well, I did notice one scene, actually, um, where they were, they were combating and everything, and then Denzel gets, like, legs sliced in, at certain points. Yeah. And I noticed that he doesn't really, like, do anything about it. React to it. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody else, whenever you see an enemy get hurt, no matter what, the arms go like this or the leg goes like that. Yeah. But anything happens to Denzel, he's like, he's kind of Superman there a little bit. He can just take the cut and nothing, you know, these guys are trained the same as he is, so why wouldn't it have the same effect? That I agree. That is a little, but you gotta, come on, he's Denzel, man. He, he, he's the man. He's too cool for school. And also, did you really notice any music other than like the intro or the outro? Nope. No, it wasn't. Uh, that. It was kind of a silent film. I yeah. noticed with the and, and maybe that would work for it because it, it did made the scenes work. more intense. Yeah. Did you feel that it was progressing well? It's because I found that it sort of was going to go in one direction, then it just took a, like a left turn out of right field. I would have to say because of the cool action scenes, and then you go to these really kind of like slow drama scenes I feel it, 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 it might have hurt the movie I feel like some people were expecting like a non-stop action ride mm -hmm. and they kind of got something that was more of an action drama you know what I mean and, and, and I think that what you talk about kind of hurt the flow of the movie like those stop those like those are 25 minute scenes it feels like of him just kind of just talking to people in random places about random things you know what I mean and some of these people, like even their stories, don't even have a real impact on anything. They're just like, you know, like here, listen to my story about what happened during the, the concentration camps. And that's like a 20 minute scene. Yeah. Or even like remembering uh, the colleague. You know what I mean? He talks to like seven different people and they all just sit down kind of all sad. It's like, yeah, man, I feel sad. Like, are you eating? It's like, yeah, I'm eating. Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm eating. Oh, okay, that's good. The weather looks nice. Yes, yeah. Okay, but anyway, yes. How, what would you rate it, good buddy? Honestly, I would rate it a, a probably a solid eight. I did like how there was some buildup, but just the 180 of going in another direction. It's because they make you believe, oh, there's this organization that's trying to kill that, and then they just like went 180 and just be like, oh yeah, we're just killing these people because we feel like it. It, it just kind of threw me for a loop. Denzel uh, Washington, though, did play his I'm part sorry, yeah. quite good. Yeah. 
and I did enjoy the build-up towards it. Though, I did feel that the, just because of that main plot, bring up the character more. It just, they wanted to fill it in with uh, knowing more about his past. Basically, you wanted the, th uh, the plot to be more. more uh, yeah, more I, want, I wanted it to be like more of a build-up because it's just, what was it, four or five random guys going out and doing their own brand of justice, really. I guess you're right. I guess in a way it's not really a gang or anything. It's just a small group that kind of did this. And I guess I didn't think of that at all. I just think of them the bad guys and those are the good guys. And yeah. and I, that kind of weirdly, now that you, that almost explains why that there was only that group. I was thinking if this is organization, why don't they send 50 people? Why, why is it only the same three yeah. people that show up all the time? They're just four mercenaries. Yeah, four mercenaries. And oddly, one of them is like really connected to everybody. <laughs> I guess that's... I guess never thought of it that way. Okay, yeah, but I'm still saying a nine. All right. You know, it's a good movie. Well, then I guess this is our review a little bit of it. Equalizer 2. And they gave a, a free hat away. Yeah, they did, actually. Like, 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 what movie does that? You expect Marvel movies to do that, but Equalizer, you walk out, they give you a free hat saying, thanks for watching. Awesome. Good, good. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I did enjoy that. And also, I got to mention this. Be sure to watch our videos, even comment on it. And uh, I, I just want to say this, I spilled some mustard. Just had to point that out. Yeah. I think I would put that at the beginning of the video. It started off like that, so it'll be explained why. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, yeah, check out our channel. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching. You know, and uh, also, well, that's too. Keep, a, keep in mind, we do have a lot of content coming out. Uh, we've yep. got even more. For this year for you guys yeah lots more lots more this year and next year and beyond we definitely have like a big schedule coming up so uh keep watching